In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the linear tool and the baseline tool to put linear dimensions on this object and I'm also going to show you how to use the radius tool and the diameter tool to dimension the radius of this arc and the diameter of this circle. So let's start by placing uh, the baseline dimensions. The way you begin to put in a set of baseline dimension, dimensions is to start with the linear tool. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to begin at this corner of my object and the first linear dimension I'm going to place would be between the corner of the object and the end point of this angled line and then I'm going to move right down here and pick to place that dimension into the object. Next I'm going to switch over and go to baseline and I'm going to go to the quadrant of that circle and then next I'm going to pick on the uh, at the end of the object right here and then I'm going to press enter to escape out of this and um, you can see that what AutoCAD did was create uh, a baseline style dimensioning pattern this is my first dimension that's the second baseline dimension this is the third baseline dimension uh, you have to keep in mind that this one was created by placing linear and then selecting baseline. Now I'm going to erase those out and just go through that again very quickly. Start with linear, pick your first extension line origin point, select the second extension line origin point, move away from the object, and remember the ASME standard says that you should be at least four tenths of a what four tenths of an inch away from the object and pick. That places the first dimension. Then select the baseline option and instead of dimension to the center of this circle I just want to pick something that's aligned to that like this quadrant and pick there and then I want to pick the end point of this line and pick and press escape. To cancel the command I can do the same thing here. I'm going to pick on linear I will start by picking at this endpoint and going to this endpoint and placing my first dimension. Move over a little bit, select on baseline. I'm going to go to that quadrant and then I'm going to go to this endpoint of that line and then press enter or escape. And you can see it created another set of baseline dimensions. And uh, the distance between these baseline dimensions is controlled inside the dimension style and so you can watch the video on how to make an ASME uh, dimension style and you can see how that's done. Next I'm going to add a diameter and a radius uh, to these features on this side of the part and so I'm going to start by placing the radius. I'm going to select the radius tool, select on the radius, move away from the part and pick and you can see that it created a radius that started at the center point and came out here in that direction and I just had to place it where I wanted it to be. Now the style of this radius and the way that it's made is determined by the fit tab settings and again if you look at the video for how to create a new ASME dimension style uh, you are shown how to make a radius for a large radius, how to make a leader for a large radius look like this and how to make a leader for a small radius look different from this. This one is only good really for large radii. Now let's go to the diameter tool. Select that. I'm going to pick on the diameter tool. Uh, move away from the part and pick where I want the dimension to be placed. And you can see I have a diameter of two inches. Uh, the radius again uh, is drawn all the way through with arrowheads pointing out this is appropriate for a large diameter. It's not very appropriate for a smaller diameter and uh, for that I would want to change my fit tab settings uh, so that that would be more appropriate for a small diameter and uh, all of these settings in the fit tab are uh, illustrated in chapter 5 of the text uh, near the back of that chapter where it talks about the dimension style settings for ASME drawings uh, in particular the fit tab.